And we're here at the 2022 Biostock Life Science Summit. I am joined now by Tommy Anderson, the co-founder and board member at Wint Research, as well as Pernilla Sanval, the CEO of Wint Research. Welcome to both of you. Thank you. Uh, Tommy, I, I'd like to begin with you. Um, it's a bit of a technical question, but what is vascular invasion and how does it pertain to your drug candidate, FOXY5? Well, if you have a tumor cell and this tumor cell decides to go somewhere else to metastasize, it needs to take a route. So it needs to go into vessels and follow either bloodstream or lymphatic uh, drainage from the site. So it's the first step, one could say, not the first, but one of the early steps in the metastatic process. Mm -hmm. And uh, so your candidate, FOXY5, uh, how is it involved in this first step of the metastatic process? Well, it all goes back to WIND5A, and WIND5A keeps the cells from not migrating but by various mechanisms. But one of the main things is that it increases the adhesion. So if you're sitting firm, it's hard to run away, mm -hmm. right? So basically, in tumors that lack WIND5A or have a low expression of WIND5A, FOXY5 would help these cells to sit tight and reduce their tendency to migrate and invade vessels and go away further to distal sites in the body. Mm -hmm. And um, you recently uh, got some positive results from your uh, phase two study with FOXY5. Um, could you tell us a little bit about these results and how those made you change the study plan going forward? I tell them about the results and you tell them about the study <laughs> plan, right? That's perfect. Yeah, okay. So. What we saw was that this invasion, that is one of the first step in metastatic disease, in the group of patients that had received FOXY5 compared to those that were not treated, were reduced, significantly reduced. And the same when they were, these tumor cells can also spread along the nerve fibers and their uh, sort of invasion into these were, was also uh, reduced. So that is very positive. And also the spreading of the primary tumor into the colon wall was also reduced. So there are three sort of key features telling us that FOXY5 actually impairs the initial invasion in the to the surrounding uh, tissues. Mm -hmm. And so would you like to comment, Pernilla, on how this changes your study plans? Yes, it does. Um, it means a lot. It's very important. So the, the current plan is that, or the current study is the patient get the diagnosed, they get into the study, they are being dosed with FOXY5, and they have the surgery. And then we look at measurements two years afterwards. Uh, now we could see results already at surgery. So we're now building those um, observations into it endpoints is called, or measurements in the study, which means that when you have your last patient in, you can get the results at that surgery. It's a couple of weeks instead of waiting another two years. So, so it means a lot, and this is the first time that we have seen efficacy in, in a patient. Previously, it would be preclinical. So now this, is, uh, this means a lot. So it, we're looking forward to this change and, and the continuation of the study. It sounds like a very big deal. Um, y you also uh, recently announced a uh, big capital raise uh, for the company through a rights issue. Uh, you'd like to raise uh, up to 40 million uh, SEC. Mm -hmm. uh, what's the motivation behind this capital raise? Running a study, it is, it is expensive to run clinical studies and the company has been hit by the pandemic. So we ha now have a need and with this new uh, what do you say, uh, funding, uh, we can run the study and it depending on how the option programs uh, will play out in, in April and September, I mean, hopefully then we could even uh, close the study with this. So, so that is going to be very, very important for our future development. Mm -hmm. And um, if why, why should investors look into this and, and invest in this? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think... Um, 
now we have this, we have seen something in patients. We have Dewey's to project in that way because going from animal study to human is, is a big change. And now we have seen that Foxy5 is actually doing something in, in patients as well. So, so, and it is a high met medical need. It is really. So cancer is a disease and now we, it's <laughs> severe disease and, and, and lethal as well. But now we can also see that the readout is closer than it used to be, which I think would make it more interesting for investors. Absolutely. And uh, finally, uh, this is for both of you. Uh, a lot is going on at Wind Research, a lot of exciting things. What does it all mean going forward for the company? I think it's, uh, it's one thing to see everything in vivo in animals. To actually see it this early, I was really surprised. And uh, the data fits exactly with what we saw in animals. So it's great. And I would say that this means also that reaching out to other pharma company and potential partners, now we have something in, in, in persons, in patients, uh, that makes us more interesting. So this is going to be important moving forward as well. Well, it's great to have you both here uh, at the Biostock Life Science Summit. Uh, thanks so much for joining us for this interview. And we definitely look forward to seeing what comes next for Wint Research. Thank you. Thank you very much.